tomorrow night, HBO is debuting a documentary called The Scheme, uh, which will have... Um, 8 p.m. Or is it 7 p.m.? Maybe 7 p.m. here tomorrow. I think it's 7 p.m. E- uh, Central Time. Uh, Christian Dawkins, who was at the middle of the uh, NCAA's and Fed's investigation uh, into college basketball, uh, will be the centerpiece of this documentary tomorrow night. The thing that's going to be different on the scheme is that you will actually have voice and audio to go with the transcript that we've heard about for so long. The tapes. And the tapes. Here they are. The, uh, the tapes have arrived, and HBO will play them in 24 hours. And i got to be honest. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for Will Wade. I'm nervous for the LSU basketball program because, to me, it has a little bit of the feel of the Ray Rice situation where Mm. you talked about it. You talked about what happened in that elevator, but once you saw what happened in that elevator, the whole story changed. Yeah. It was kind of, it's it's like kind of a damning, like, uh, commentary on how we operate as people in that sometimes. Be a great case study on, on what happens with with media and stories and how the visual element can push over the top of the story. This, I wonder, can the audio element maybe push over? You were going into the Final Four, right, with, um, or, or I guess the championship would have been played tonight. Yeah, that would make sense because they were planning it for the day after the tournament. Right, so the day after the championship game, they were going to drop the HBO documentary. I still think that it has the interest and the intrigue from college basketball fans and sports fans. Uh, obviously, this part of the country and this fan base will be tuned in because their head coach is one of the key figures in this. Um, I, I, you know, T, like, like I said, I got an uneasy feeling about how, how it's going to play. It's obviously not going to play well in, in this part. I think that the wild card here is Scott Woodward. I just, you just don't know uh. how Woodward feels about his basketball program and the state that it sits now. I think he gave you an idea. He's always been very fragile when he speaks about the, the stability of the program. Yeah. He gives the the sense that, that he is backing Will Wade in the program, but he's also saying if there's anything around the corner that may embarrass LSU or put them in a in a in a bad light, that he's not scared to move. And yeah. I don't know if, if this is if this is going to be enough or this is the icing on the cake. Well the the I think the terrifying part for um for the for the LSU basketball program right now is the lack of a news cycle. Uh, if you had a national championship to talk about, and there was baseball going on, and what the NBA playoffs would be right around the corner, I, guess, I suppose at this point. Like, if you had the normal news cycle, then shows like Get Up and Sports Center, they're going to have plenty to talk about. This might be a, a footnote. In the vacuum of sports news that we currently exist in, I mean... People are desperate. People are hungry. I mean, think about just planning this show. If we, if we get the inkling of a story that we can find an angle on, we, we latch onto it and, yeah. we, and we squeeze it. I'm psycho. I mean, listen to what we're talking about right now. I mean, I'm psycho messaging Christian Fulton right now to wake up. So so if, if, if that's the current Please, setting, Christian. if that's the current setting that we are in, ooh. Yes. I yeah. mean, this thing just seems ripe. So Wednesday morning on Get Up, every topic being about the state of college basketball and how broken is it and do you care, are you upset, who should be punished, who shouldn't be punished. Remember right now, only NC State, Kansas, Oklahoma State, USC, TCU, and South Carolina have gotten notice of uh, allegations working against them since last summer. So who knows, does this reopen things? I, I, I am intrigued to see public reaction, though, because as we said at the time, look, I'm not, I'm not an idiot, okay? Uh, I'm I'm not saying that uh, you know, maybe there wasn't a little grease somewhere along in the process, uh, but but as we said every time, I'm not really morally or ethically offended by that. I know many people are not. In fact, many people are more offended by some archaic NCAA rules keeping guys from being able to make their market value. And, and, and so I wonder will will the public actually be outraged by this? Will no one care? I mean, because I, I guarantee the news cycle is going to try to get you to care. I wonder how mad people will actually be. Because like I said, I am willing to push the limits of plausible deniability into absurdity. Because guess what? I don't care if players get money. And LSU basketball is really good right now. And I want them to stay really good. Well, I think that the great quote, the famous quote that came out of this documentary is that Jerry Tarkanian said that 9 out of 10 college basketball teams are cheating and the 10th is in last place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if you're not playing by those rules, you just ain't playing, man. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I think that once you see this documentary, you'll see 
how blatant it is in the game and that really everybody is doing. If you're playing at a high level, if you're competing for championships in college basketball, it's greasy. That's just the world that, it is, that, that, that it's in. And I think that one thing that Christian Dawkins brings to light is, as speaking to some, some people that have had a chance to already see this, is that the feds look like morons. The feds get played by a 26-year-old, 25-year-old middleman between an agent uh, and players uh, as far as the system goes. Well, that's like a separate conversation is, is the, this really any use of federal resources right, exactly. that like anybody cares the about? The feds want them to get to the coaches. Dawkins explained that the coaches aren't the guys. It's You got to go get the players. Um, he's just pocketing the cash. But in the meantime, he's talking to these coaches. Sean Miller and Will Wade, it seems like it's not going to be a good night for them tomorrow night. How, their, how their administration reacts. Because I don't think that anybody's going to be outraged by the state of the NCAA college basketball world, right? I mean, we've all seen the we've all seen the transcript. We all read the reports last year by Yahoo. We get it, right? I mean, it's dirty, it's greasy. This is the same story, just in a video and audio element. What does that do for the players at the center of it, right? I, I don't think that you're going to have this big major backlash of the state of college basketball is broken. We get it; it already is. I mean, we understand that, and nobody has acted since all that stuff came out a year ago, right? I mean, like, since they had all this evidence and all these stories and all these wiretaps and all these players squealing and all these coaches talking and all these middlemen wired up, it's still the same. Yeah. It's still the same game, and nobody's offended by that, right? But I wonder what Scott Woodward, Stephanie, in the, inside the LSU administration office, what their reaction is going to be, because to me, that's the wild card. How hot does it get? That's the wild card in the whole situation. It's a question, how hot does it get? And and like I said, I actually would not be that concerned if it was a normal news cycle. But that's the that's the key piece in all of this, is the vacuum that this will fill for programming for the 24-7 news sports cycle. But uh, I'm, I'm but like, I, like I said, I'm painfully on record as uh, I support our boy, boot up, let's go Will Wade, LSU's basketball is finally good. They look like they're going to be great next year. They are going to be great. I don't give a damn about any of this other stuff. You think Dick? You think Dicky comes back on? Uh, he wants to. You know he yeah, wants. Yeah, he to. wants to be here Thursday you know, morning. Yeah, that's he you, wants to be here Wednesday you, yeah, morning. You know he wants. You heard to. the tapes. <laughs> ah, get it, I didn't hear you anything. Get it. I didn't watch it. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even get HBO, Dick. <laughs> I don't even get the. I don't even get the channel. Dick. 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 Chill, bro. 